All right, guys, let's have a little chat. Brompton's a great bike, but do you remember when we first got our Brompton, we just want to head off for a ride. Didn't it feel like to you, there's something missing from the bike. There's this little bit of add-on that we can put onto the bike to make the bike complete, more complete anyway. I'm not referring to those expensive headset, power meter crank, super light titanium parts and all that. I'm not referring to those. Those little parts that we put onto the bike. What the seven things that I have put on my bike and I've been refining it for the last five years to make it work for me. And it might just be work for you as well. So let's take a look. Let's go. Number one, the GoPro and Garmin computer mount. This has to be the key item at my handlebar deck. When I ride off to my longer rides, I often like to track my riding progress. My cycling computer also allows me to plan the route and usually I just follow the turn-by-turn -turn instructions during the longer rides. It gets easy like that. The Garmin and many of the cycling computer comes with a front extending mount or what they call the on the bar mount that is fixed up with the elastic band, the O-ring. Both of these options doesn't really work out for me and it may not work out for you. Let me tell you why. With the standard Brompton, those front extended mount usually gets into the way when you want to fold the bike. Remember, Anything that goes in front of the stem will get in between the stem and the front wheel when you have the bike folded. So the front extended mount is not a good viable solution for us. Okay, the provided on the bar mounting option is also not good for me as well, as I'm not really a big fan of off-center mounting option. Luckily, some console had offered me this 3D printed mount. It is stretchable, so it can be really easy to get released from my Brompton here and to transfer to some of the other Bromptons that I have. The only downside that I have with this mount is my cycling computer is just too big and too long. The front part of the computer might get run into the fork, which is not something that you want it to happen. Aside from the cycling computer mount, there's a GoPro mount right at the front of this as well. Well, this part is obvious, so I'm not going to go into it. So what do you use as your cycling computer or phone mount? Let me know down in the comment area below. I would love to know what you're using. Number two, the rear camera and light. It is a simple camera and rear light by 2Cycling. I made a few videos with the footage that I got from this camera light system before. Let me show you a small clip of it. You can refer to the link provided at the video description to catch the whole thing if you would like. This camera light is very simple. No apps, no special functions mean it is very easy to use. One button to turn on and switch between different modes. The video file would rewrite or should I say overwritten over the oldest file and continue with the loop recording. So you will always have the latest recording in your hand. Other than needing the footage for making videos, touch wood, I never have to use any footage away from it. I guess I'm riding quite safe and defensively. One thing I like to mention, the light set provides an extra amount at the package. It is very easy for me to quick release the light from the Brompton and use it on my the other bike as well. Number three, the carrier block leather puller. I didn't invent this. But I know they have been around for a long while. Some people use a piece of string, some people use some cable tie or whatever creative idea to get it done. The idea is actually very simple. You know the release at the carrier block is actually very hard to get triggered when you don't have a direct visual to it, when you can't really see it, right? So how about if we have a remote trigger that will sit at where we have a direct visual at? That would be nice, right? And this leather thingy does exactly that. Let me show you. Pull, pop. Pull, pop. See, it's cool, right? So what's this thing even called anyway? I'm calling it the carrier block leather puller because it's made out of leather in my case. Let's look up at Google and see what they say. Damn, there are a whole lot of names here. Leather luggage block pull strap. Carrier block strap. Carrier block leather release strap. Front block leather puller, leather pull strap belt, front carrier block strap, leather luggage block pull strap. Well, you get the idea anyway. Number four, the water bottle bag. I think I had mentioned this before, and I will say this again. Brompton has a water bottle problem. Maybe people just don't need a water bottle when they are doing urban city ride. However, I need my water bottle when I'm doing my 7-Eleven ride, my bank ride. 
my busy roadside ride, you get the idea. Of course, Brompton have their fix with their water bottle compartments at the front bank, but most of the time, I don't even bring my large front bank with me. Here comes with my solution. The feed bag. The one that I have here is made by this company called the Skin Grows Bag. I have been using it on my bike for over a year now. Surprisingly, it is still as colourful as it was new. This kind of bag is called the feed bag because when they were first invented, the first introduced, they were largely used on the touring bike and they carry food supply in it. So it's an easy grab of food during the ride. Of course, bags are bags. Riders are using it differently these days. Sometimes I just put my phone, wallet, or maybe the house keys inside if I'm heading out for a lunch ride. But most of the time, I would have my water bottle at it. There's a few reasons why I picked the Skin Roseback brand from Australia over the others. First, they really have this thick padding and rugged materials. Secondly, they have the one finger operation to close and open up the compartment's top. A quick pull at the black cable to secure it and the other pull on the purple cable to release it. It is a total single hand operation where most of the other brands just need two hands to do that. Third, they have an extra ribbon space for me to latch, hook anything on it. Fourth, they got this little space for you to sort a phone or other things at the other side even you have the water bottle in. It doesn't sound so bad as a water bottle fix, right? Number five, the saddle bag. All right, this is a hard one. I personally know a lot of Brompton riders would fold up their bikes and transit home when they got a flat at the tires. Are you one of them? Tell me down in the comment area below. To me, I'm here to enjoy my ride, so I would like to get my rides done. So being able to fix up my tires and some minor issues by the roadside is a must for me. Here, may I introduce the saddle bag for you. Yes, it is the matching color with my water bottle bag. There are only a few things inside this saddle bag. Let me show you. A spare tube, a multi tool and a gas canister for the easy air refill. Oh, let me show you this really cool part with the saddle bag as well. Instead of normally using a velcro strap to secure the back to the saddle, this one uses a magnetic buckle instead. I'm guessing they would last way longer than the velcro strap. Anyway, the stuff inside this saddle bag is something that I never intend to use as well. Nobody wants a flat, right? Number six, the wheel strap. This is a keeper for my Brompton. I made a video on three of the most essential upgrades on the Brompton a while back. All of the three recommended items at the time still have the stands these days. The wheel strap was one of them. If you haven't watched that video yet, I will leave a link down at the description area below. You can check it out later after this one. Anyway, let's get back to the wheel strap. What is a wheel strap? I heard you ask. In a really simple terms, it is a vertical strap that wraps around your rear wheel and the top tip when your bike is folded. So when you have your seat poles pulled it up for an easy pushing, like this. You can still lift up the Brompton without having the Brompton going unfold. Yeah, you might be asking, didn't Brompton have that addressed it when they introduced the P and T line with the stop block? Yes, they did. They really did. But that only works when the seat post is still being exposed from the seat tube. Don't get mixed up with the seat tube with the seat post. Seat post is the actual post that is supporting the saddle and the seat tube is the tube at the main frame where the seat post is going through. So if the seat post is still exposed, it works. The seat block works perfectly. If it went into the seat tube, if the seat post went into the seat tube, the prompter will get unfolded when you lift up the bike. I guess all tricks never dies. Number seven, the front light. Yes, we're talking about the front light. I really don't know what brand this is. After all, as long as it serves my needs at the night time, I'm happy with it. Most of the places that I ride around have enough ambient street lights. So all I need is like a signaling light that would let people know I'm here and about. When I pick my front light, there are two things that I'm always looking at. First, it had to expose me left, right and center. If you take a closer look at the light, the transparent plastic parts offer the light to be beamed to the sideways so drivers and riders would be able to see me from the sides or at least from the wider viewing angle anyway. Secondly, it had to be very small. Most of the time I'm using the blinker mode. 
it's kind of distracting when you're able to see the blinking during the ride, right? I usually will have the light installed upside down and use the handlebar to block off the flashing light from my riding position. The setup had been serving me quite well. All right. Often I get people ask me, why don't you use the Brompton light that sits right above the front wheel? For the Brompton over the front wheel light, I don't use them. I like to have control on my legs when I'm riding the bike. Bending down towards the front wheel to make adjustment to the light would cause more harm than goods to me. So when I'm riding the bike, having light at the handlebar would offer me an easy way to switch the light between different modes. Another reason would be the light is at a higher up position, you'll be able to have a better pointing downwards angle to avoid shining the light right at the opposite rider's eyes. This is a safety issue. You get my meaning, right? Number eight. This is the most important one. If you really love your Brompton, check this out.